Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Leo for love and relationship for the month of July Have you ever like to think about this, that you are with someone but you feel lonely? You have all the love in the world and the excitement, but you feel still lonely. You want like, you know, that really solid support from someone that you love, that you welcome a relationship here. And I get here, you are really being like, you know, really the good person there. The caring person, committing yourself to someone who insists on commitment all the time. And I get here, but yet this person is really like you mean. You find that you are maybe still like you really mad at this person and you don't want them. But I get here, they become like you know, sometimes having this misunderstanding, stressed out, overwhelming situation. Then they become cold on you suddenly. They withdraw. And that person, like, you know, they don't know what they are doing here. But they become like, you know, that, that's it, it's over. And you are like, that's it, it's over. Like, okay, suddenly, what happened there? What is it like, you know, that happened exactly there? That both of you, in romance and love and sex and everything is so beautiful between you two. And that understanding and connection and mind and spirit and energy and everything. And suddenly, it's over. Your person is really keep dwelling on things like you know, that. It's not really like you no know, for his or her benefit anymore. They just like you know, want to check everything out with, uh, with you. They want to check like you know, how much money you're making. Um, whom do you call? Whom do you like you no know, really just um, talk to? They try to annoy the situation here. They say, that's it, I learned my lesson, bye-bye, and you are like, that's it? He or she keep thinking about you a lot, and I get here, if they haven't been messaging you, the message is coming like you know, in a few days, either tomorrow after tomorrow, at the most. They miss you so much, and I get here, they want to change a lot in their life, like you know, for you. This person is really, really committed, but I get here that when they say it's over, it's over, but it's not really over. There is a Scorpio person is coming in the picture for you. I keep picking on Scorpio from the beginning. Virgo, Libra, an air sign person. I get an Aries here. I get here they want to enter like no really your life. Taurus. You are happy with this person, like you know, that we are talking about in the beginning here, but it seems that they confuse you. They are you are confused, and you feel that's it. I'm accepting like you know, everything with that person, renewing my relationship with that person, but I don't know what to do. Suddenly, there is someone from your past that you didn't talk to for a long time is coming. You're gonna hear from that person. It's gonna make you extremely happy. It will change your outlook around about love. Even if you are mad at love, you're not going to be mad anymore. Yep, a renewed relationship with someone from your past. Not, the, some, not someone that you accepted already to be with. There is someone else. It could be a Scorpio person. It doesn't have to be like an only Scorpio person because I'm getting Cancer. I'm getting Virgo. I am going, getting like no... And Aries want you and you are mm, misunderstanding. But an air sign person also want to be with you. That you have maybe family together. 
Huh. A Gemini person wants to be with you. Could be a Libra also or Aquarius, but I'm picking on Gemini too. Three people want you. Maybe more, but... Someone you did not hear from a long time ago wants to be with you. You do have love in your heart. You, you do give love, but... The confusion here, you cannot focus. It's kind of like there are a lot and too many who want to be with you right now. And you're like, what energy? I'm really like, you know, just dragging for myself. Because you don't, you need to shift your energy in a way that if you are really like, you know, just made a wish or something for, for someone to come to you and they did not show up in the picture and other people showed up because the other person is not really ready and other people start to show up. You need to direct your energy to, about someone. And if you directed an energy about someone, you did very well to bring people from your past, but there are a lot of people you don't desire to be with you too. And it's something to do with energy and the focus. It's kind of like, I'm so good at bringing people like you know, to me and making like you know, all of this energy and candles or, or chanting or wishes. Yeah, yeah, you are so good, but... Sometimes it doesn't work exactly as you want because either you did not direct the energy exactly or you could be really calling on someone that you want so badly so much and that person is not ready. So the universe is telling you, those people love you. How about those? You can say no to those people and the universe will know that you are not ready for that particular person. But a lot of you, you don't want to be sitting alone there. I hope you know what I'm talking about. This is really talking about energy, how to attract like you know, someone to you. But I get here, relationships will be re renewed. You feel like you know, all of those people around you, but you feel lonely. Now we know why you are feeling lonely. It's just because they are not the person that you want. And the person you want is coming. He or she is going to come to you. The person that wants to propose to you and you keep really having a, uh, or proposed and you have conflicts, they need to work on their doubt. They doubt themselves a lot. They are jealous extremely. Oh my God, look at their jealousy. They delay things. They... You see that, you know, that you want really to, you told them yes on the marriage here, but there is a chaos. There is a struggle. There is a conflict and you feel like, no, now what? What am I supposed to do? You are in choices right now, back and forth. Shall I just really proceed with that relationship? Because it's not really what I want exactly. Mm. This person love you, but they feel guilty. They think that you are with someone. And you are not. Even they let you go, they're going to really open their heart again. They're going to come to you. Now what? You have to be really like, you know, just specific with that person from the beginning. Don't go with the flow with them. You welcome him or her, but, you know, they give you disappointment. And I get here that they are afraid that situation is not going to change, that you will be calling other people, talking to other people from your past. It's really, you cannot really, you cannot really like, you know, keep telling your person like, you know, about other people when you talk to them or whatever, because when you are in that real commitment and settle down already, you can tell them everything. But right now, this person is being wishy-washy, doubting. They don't know what to expect and they keep delaying things. So it's really better for you not really to talk about this anymore. It's really best. And you, they don't have to know everything unless they are you live in the same home. Because it's complicating things and make the other person doubt themselves. Especially when he or she is an heiress person like, you know... They have some doubt. They want to trust. They don't want... They, they are straight to the point. They are very protective, uh, Aries. And they they like... They like 
the person to be 100% like, you know, really pure. And you are, but they don't believe you. They have suspicions. You know what I mean? Dear Leo, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video. And uh, when you click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call. Please do not send me emails or text messages that I need to arrange a call. What shall I do? How do I pay? Um, you have payment options on the website. It's very simple. I don't have time to answer each email individual. Really. I am very, very busy. Extremely busy. You have no idea what I'm talking about. It's very simple. Click on my, uh, on my website. Mysticalaziza.com is in the description box. Click on reading prices. Click on pay now when you choose your reading. Then give me a call and the phone number is listed on my website. I'm going to tell you exactly the way I'm telling you right now. So why you waste your time and my time? Okay, and I love you all. Don't worry. I'm a very forgiving person and I love people. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy that reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.